I hate books. Hello everyone, I'm Red Devil, we're gonna Age of the Ring Cast. We are on Tuck Burrow today, which means we are going to get a fantastic game. Tuck Burrow never disappoints. It's like this little hobbit in that little hole. There's an entire war going on around. He does not care. In the top team, we have an Erebor that's already got all their minds up. It's Sin of Wrath. Oh, easy. Easy Sailor with the name. Sin of Wrath. The edge on that. We're gonna have to take that off. His teammate is Pool. Literally the opposite of Sin of Wrath. He's playing as Gondor. And it's an Aizen to finish it all off. And it's Hesh. We've got one pole already. And they're already under threat. The bottom team is a Gondor. It is Sawman. Already under threat from Hesh. It is a Rohan in the bottom. It is Pretty Boy Daxton back from his honeymoon. Congrats. And to finish it all off, it's Yudo Baggins as Mordor. And between me, between me, you, and the lamppost, and the weird guy staring through my window, I don't know if he can play Mordor. But he is in charge of Hamburger Hill, so a great, a great responsibility lies on his shoulders. But we're straight into the action here. And the good thing with Tokborough, I mean, I've said this every time, but I, I feel like I'm not doing my job if I don't mention it. But this map is humongous. And if you aren't harassing in the back, as you and us, then you aren't doing your job on Tokborough. And uh, Pool is doing the same here. Because, I mean, th this map, it's just begging for harassment, okay? It's like Amber Heard. It's just, are you really doing your job if you're not harassing? And, um, yeah, there's no way, there's no way... You can just let all this free real estate go to waste. Anyway, push up the middle uh, from Sawman. And um, Biting Phalanx should actually lose. If they were... Uh, there's some Swordsmen in there as well, actually, so that will even the odds. And uh, Wildman are going to pretend like they're doing work. But yeah, only Sawman would engage here when he's outnumbered 4-1. to one, But, I mean, hey, he, he killed like three dudes there, so... Totally worth it, I guess. We've got a ping up top. And that's Sawman alerting his teammates that wargs are on the way. Or maybe it was from Hesh to say, hey, I need a rebuild. Either way works. I think it was actually the wargs. But uh, yeah, rebuilds come in from pool. Lots of uh, teamwork on display already, which is nice to see. But it's not going to stop. The furnace goes down. The furnace right outside the fortress, actually. That poor bastard gets hit from the fortress. And these boys are now level 2. We got wargs on the way. We do... And uh, there is one battalion of spears, so hoping, for someone's sake, they're able to uh, kill these wargs. Otherwise, uh, these clansmen are in a lot of trouble here. I just kind of want to see what they're going to do here. So um, the, the, the spearmen haven't moved up. And surely you can get one good trample in. And there it is. No cover from the spearmen. Actually, oh, okay, there's the about. All right, there we go. We've seen it. All right, we've got uh, Pool harassing in the back. Actually doing the most harassment here. He's hit Ewan, now he's hitting Daxton. And I think Daxton has separated his stables here because he wants that extra, like, five a tick or something. Because obviously every Rohan building gives you money. Plus six a tick. I stand corrected. Never mind. All right, Squabble over Hamburger Hill. We've got Rahiram Warriors from uh, Daxton. I think he was helping his teammate there. But now I'll push forward from Ewan. There's Cracks of Doom. Very nice. Baragond as well. Baragon should get a lot of free kills, but he's already retreated. I'm not sure why, because... I mean, obviously these orcs can gang up on him, but there's still opportunity to get plenty of kills, and uh, you only need one level to get that Defender of the White City, so... Yeah, strange that Pool isn't actually just picking up orcs there. That's actually a bit of a misplay, Pool. And, uh, yeah. Solomon just taking names, apparently. That's another mineshaft to his name. A bit of a slow start for Sin of Wrath. God, that's such an edgy name. That's like 12-year-old Lincoln Park stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, the reason being he's uh, teched up. He's got uh, Men of Dale archers, so... He might actually regret that with Rohirrim on the field. And there are definitely Rohirrim on the field, so he might actually pay for that. And if someone's doing anything after this, he's actually distracting the uh, the enemy. Because look how many troops have had to come back to address that one unit. Alright, Defender of the White City is there. Forlong is out for a pool. And a beautiful trample. I caught that one this time, Daxton. I caught it. You can't say that I didn't. I caught it. But yeah, I think uh, Sin is actually uh, turtling quite a bit. And uh, Pool is paying the price here because he's getting soft 2v1 here. And now Nazgul on the field. You want Screech on that bad boy as soon as you can? Of Lamadon, ready for all and free trample. Two free tramples. You and you got to go in, man. There it is. 
And again, come on. And again, free free trambles. Hey, never turn them down. Or never turn down the builder kill, maybe. I would have just I would have just trampled until there was nothing left. I mean, now there's spearmen out, and you miss your chance. No, don't. Okay, you. There is no fence there. There would be no um, excuse if you had lost there. Anyway, he did level up. He does have a screech. No, he doesn't. Never mind. And there is fighting all over the show. This is why Tuckboro is a superior map. I feel like this might be a better template for other 3v3 maps where the everyone's bases are closer together, but there's just all this space in the back. We must find our it's like the opposite of Pinoth Galen. Pinoth Galen is a good map, but I feel like this, the Tuckboro template for maps is uh, superior. Anyway, again, all of Isengard is being distracted by one battalion of clansmen. And... Uh, Daxon and Sawman combining there, getting another Furnish right under Hesh's fort. And they're comboing really well, the bottom team. Little soft 2v1s here. And uh, I think that was a level 2 Furnace. So that was a big deal. That's That's got a sting for Daddy Hesh there. He's not going to like that one bit. Sawman does have a Thillian Wood now. I am Folong, Lord of Lasarnic. And he's got a uh, fat kid on the field. Let's go. And does Hesh know that Lothus is going in? We'll say that he did know, because he was he was chasing those Rohirrim halfway across the map. He's attacking with Sin now. There is a ping on oh, some wargs, Crimea River. There's Inspire Fear. And I would have laughed if those Spearmen actually feared into the Nazgul and then they died, but that's just wishful thinking. And that was the high watermark there. They uh, they set that farm on fire and then left. Or is Gloin going to come back here? There isn't much support from Hesh, but... Gondor is here. Hesh is fighting his own battle. That's uh, the reason. And he's pinging here. Dude, just drop your Athelian wood and quit crying. You're fine. You and managed to somehow trample spears and get away with that. The Athelian wood actually came in on his teammate. Why did I have to use that verb? Anyway, um, the English language is absolutely ruined. Uh, oh my god, what happened? What happened? All right, there's Baruch Hazard. Only affects dwarves though. Laugh at this Dalish user. Oh no, that wasn't Sawman's Athelian Wood, because they're being buffed. Never mind, that was Paul's Athelian Wood. I think. Let's have a look. Ah, there was Athelian Wood here, used here as well. They were used at the exact same time. Anyway, Sawman. I know he was complaining about lag, but we're just going to put that down to skill issue. Because this is after the fact, he's not here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's nothing he can do about that. It's not liable if I say it's my opinion. It's <laughs> it's my opinion. It's an objective skill issue. There you go. My lawyers have... Well, my lawyers will get me out of that. Look at all the plus tens. Aimer on the field? Outlaw leadership. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Beautiful trample. Right next to the Athelian Wood. The Athelian Wood would have actually saved him, wouldn't it? No, it's just damage. Never mind. It wouldn't have saved him. But yeah, beautiful trample. There are some spearmen there, but maybe... Uh, yeah, there's too many spears. Just sporadic sporadically placed there. Still goes for it. Aoma's in a lot of trouble. Aoma gets hit with a cripple shot. And pretty boy Daxton. Change his name to Suckin' Dirk Daxton because that is what his heroes are doing. They are sucking pavement. Uh, sucking Dirt Daxton. Man, what? Well, is there a greater technique in the English language than alliteration? I don't think so. It's the closest I can get to rap without cringing. It is beautiful. And here we go, the counterattack by Giga Chad Gloin. There it is, did it again. Oh man, paint me on a statue, I am glorious. Okay, there it is, level up. Still needs more dwarves though, needs some Iron Hills, needs some Uzma Duel, needs to embrace the lame a bit more. Clutch rebuild from Sawman, Marketplace is in trouble too. There's um, Horn of the Westfall to buff his boy. And uh, thank god that farm went down, because that was his exit strategy. He was firmly stuck, unless that farm went down. Anyway, save the marketplace. There's freezing rain tier 3 for Hesh. And Hesh seemed to not... But Hesh seemed to be pretty behind, but the last couple of attacks got him all the way up to tier 3, and now Berserkers are on the are, are on the front line, actually hacking down um, Axeman on Athelian Wood, which is uh, very impressive. Okay, let's go back to Udo Baggins. Cracks of Doom comes in there, and is that Faramir? It is, with his purple hood. Looks kind of cool. And we've got... Uh, Mogul Orcs out of the fortress. And uh, there is no Gorbag, I don't think, to uh, follow up. I feel like I feel like Gorbag should be out from the fortress. Okay, Faramir now. 
for Sorma. And that's how desperate times are that he's even made an archer hero. And um, even though Aoma's gone, Daxon is still sticking with the tramples. And aside from the Aoma, he actually hasn't put a foot wrong here. But uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, fully armed and filthy for uh, Sin of Wrath. And if he wants to put them on, on those Men of Dale archers, they will get the upgraded uh, arrows. But you got to make sure they're protected because there's plenty of cavalry on the field. Builder does get away. Nice level up from Gloin. He has been using Venture Capitalism. Very nice. And I'm still waiting on Dexton to get some elite units. And um, still waiting on Ewan to uh, get some better stuff too. He does have some Eastlings, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong here. He does have some Trolls as well, but only level 1. And I think Ewan has probably put all of his money in that Mughal Sorcery and those Eastlings there. And I think a few more Furnaces have gone down while I was uh, rambling there. As the remnants of that are being shanked by Grima Wormtongue. And yeah, this uh, slaves are known for Ewan, but this uh, this lumber mill value for Aizen. How she's going to be able to bankroll his entire team with that. And if Erebor had gone with the deep delving as well, I mean, that would just be icing on the cake. Boromir. In control of Hamburger Hill. Again, the nice trample could put some pressure on Faramir here. It depends. Is Aoma back on the field? There is Aoma. Well, Faramir is there. It's, it's up to Daxton to spot him. There's a, there's a free Faramir. He's not using his abilities. Captain of Aphelion is uh, not been used or has not been used. And, I mean, I feel like he... I mean, three heroes there. I feel like he could have got one. Probably not Boromir, but... At least one of them. Counterattack by Hesh. We've got archers in the back. We've got Inspire Fear by Denethor. And I'm surprised there was no fear resist in there. Hmm, no, I guess not. So Denethor showing his value there, breaking up the Isengard attack. Five more points for tier three for Ewan. And we do have some uh, dismounted Kingsguard. For Daxton and some Halifurians, very nice. Not been much care from the top team, so they should work out. They got a Gimli to contend with now. There is a cripple shot in there, but I think it's just Forlong. No, it's Denethor. Denethor with no abilities on cooldown. If he levels up once, he can summon, summon, summon. Ooh, did he get it off before he died? I don't think so. I think that was Captain Vitalian that went in there. But yeah, Denethor was down, or is down. His health melted by all those axe throwers. And another Rahiram Trample. Level 5 Rahiram Warriors now. Beautiful eco. And Gothmog on the field to give leadership to all those boys. Theoden on the field now. Very nice. But some elite cavalry to just finish it all off would be uh, excellent. Tier 3 now. He might go Aether Sun Rises if he knows that Freezing Rain is on the field. It depends what his, uh, what his teammates are going to do. Shaku tanking the spear throw, surprisingly. Strength Remembered is on the field, but you want to wait to level 5. He did go with Ether Sunrises. Heroic Statue mid. We've got some Forge Blades there. This could be tricky. Lots of archers in the back. They are upgraded. I think Flayon and Filthy has come in. Needs to be wary of the Gimli Axe throw. But I think the, the, I think the, the cavalry should come in here because there's a lot to kill here. There's a lot to kill. Gimli only taking a fraction of damage. A retreat from pool there. Seems to be a pretty epic battle, actually. Gothmog leading the line. Come to my aid, what have you done? Okay, no, I think he just went through one spear. I think he's fine. There's Western Winds from Sawman. Or that might be the top team. I'm not really sure. Serrated arrows. Focusing fall on. Actually, I don't know who they're focusing. I think they're falling, but not enough. Trampled by Pinneth Galen. That's not ideal. And he has plenty of time to withdraw. Easy. Nazgul. I know you think that they can take on Cav when they're leveled up, but no, they can't. They are purely Trample Masters and debuff. That's all they're meant to do. There's a Philian Wood now. We're at Squeaky Bomb time for sure. There's Horde of Gondor as well. And that's the... Oh my goodness, Gandalf. I didn't know he was there. Tier 3 as well. Or sorry, not Tier 3. Level 3. And there's Wraith on Wings. Now that should get some value, but it's not going to be a lot. Gandalf is just the perfect counter to Mordor because uh, he can just nullify any sort of debuff from uh, 
He's level three. Daxton under the cosh here now. <gasps> we just came back just in time. All those Halifurians, forget about the cavalry. Gimli just killed all of them. Someone's Faramir is dying, I'll pretend to care. And is he focusing Gimli? I think that's Gimli there. There it is, there's Strength Remembered as well. There's the summon, which means he was level five and Glorious Charge for the counter attack, maybe? Or is he gonna hold it? And I thought was Gloin dying as well. He does have Glorious Charge. I think he's gonna proc it now. Maybe trample over here. And last of the Fell Beast does go down. Everyone has tier three for the bottom team. There's Undermine. And I can't look everywhere, but I don't want to miss a Glorious Charge. Ewan doesn't have, or Ewan's retreated, so it's up to watching Theoden. What the hell happened over here? Okay, here we go. So Glorious Charge here, come on. So man, you gotta be yelling at Daxton for this. You have to speak a little slower, but he will hear you. There's Cripple Shot on Denethor again. I mean, Denethor is a pretty, is a high value target. Air the Sun rises um, to stun all of Isengard. And is he going for the Ford? It might be too soon. Takes out the Forge. He's got Forge Blades on these bad boys, so the, the Hall of Warriors should go down. And yes, I will just call it by its vanilla name, Sumi. And is it going to be another... Oh, Hall of the Westfield! That is going to be enough. Look at that damage! Oh my god, given that half of these troops are summoned, and there's Glorious Charge after the fact. Did things a little... A little unorthodox. That's why we like him. That's why we keep him around. He doesn't... He doesn't do what others tell him to do. He, he does it his way, and it works. Because Fortress is down. And that has probably got to be one of the most opportunistic Fort Rushes I've ever seen. I mean, that's basically the name of the game with Fort Rushing, but that was... That was, uh... Very odd, because it started here. It started with all of his Halifurians dying to a Gimli Leap. And all those power points from leveling the Erebor Fortress. I think Feodor actually died. <laughs> but yeah, there's Tier 4 now. Tower Guard as well. My man will make Tower Guard before Athelion Rangers. Although he does have level 5. Excuse me? Okay. I don't feel like I know you anymore. Now somehow Gandalf is here. He does have a Wizard Blast. He's trying his best. Ents are focusing the Fortress. Wizard Blast, what are you waiting for? And, oh god. They actually tanked the Wizard Blast because of the Aragorn armor buff. What terrible timing for Pool. The one time Wizard Blast doesn't kill everyone. And Gandalf is going to slice his dick off. There it is. Oh man, I'm so glad Elisar gets Surfing Bird as well. He has that surfing animation. And this is hilarious. How thematic. Wormtongue fighting Grimbold outside the Eisen Fort. And I think Wormtong actually stealthed there, or was that backstab? No, he didn't stealth, he was uh, he was doing backstab. Eowyn versus Wormtong is even more thematic, who's gonna win? And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's... Wait, no, the Tiff... Did they both have Tier 4? Or am I crazy? They both had Tier 4, that, whoa! Okay, we missed one LSR. We missed one LSR, dude! Dude, how do you cast these 3v3s? Uh, fun fact, I don't. <laughs> I try my best. Okay, there it is. GG. Okay, so it was a second Elisar, but I don't know where the second one dropped. The first one was definitely Sawman's because his army, um, like, radiated when, um, when he summoned him, which was the armor buff. And then, yeah, that was definitely Sawman's Elisar that killed Gandalf. I don't know where the other one was. Maybe he was, uh, murdering, uh, hordes of orcs, uh, from Yuan. That was a, that was intense game. That was at, like, lightning speed. I tried my best. Mercy like. Mercy comment, I suppose. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. <gasps> Goodbye.